a walk for peace in the north of St. Lucia on Sunday, was the highlight of activities culminating Youth Month 2023. Minister responsible for Youth Development and Sports, the Honorable Kenson Casimir, participated in the walk and was happy with the outcome and suggested that it should be replicated in other districts. As a minister, I was really encouraged to see young people coming out to say that we are united to have peace in our community. We are united against crime. We are united against some of the ills that befall our young people in some of the communities in St. Lucia. And so uh, we as a ministry have to decide how often we are going to do this. The conversation has been on whether we should have a quarterly walk, but I don't want to dilute this thing or do it uh, biannually. But I think at the very least, annually, this can grow into something special in our communities. Um, I love the route from Marcy's store to VG. Um, and uh, of course, the jazzercise after is something that you know our young people can enjoy as well. So hopefully, um, we will have more and more participation from persons in the community as it comes to fighting against crime. And as a ministry, we can continue to do our part to ensure St. Lucia develops in the right direction. The Grosley South Youth and Sports Council was one of the entities that mobilized its members to participate in this symbolic venture. A good way to end off um, Youth Month and seeing that this year is the year of the youth, I think it was a good initiative for the youth to come out, especially in the time we know in our country right now we're struggling with keeping the peace in the streets. Um, so it was a good way to show, you know, there's to show advocacy for keeping the peace. A good way to end off Youth Month. For Director of Youth, Rohan Lubo, it turned out to be a wonderful success based on the diverse groups that participated in the Walk for Peace. We invited a number of clubs, sporting groups. Um, we had the Red Cross, we had the Dukas, we had the Cadets. Um, Valley Soccer also represented big. We had Boys Training Centre. A number of groups and clubs came on board and we walked from Massey Mega all the way down to the VG Multipurpose Sports Complex. When we got to the complex, we had a few information booths and we also organized sporting activities for the individuals. It was a wonderful activity and persons are already asking when is our next Walk for Peace, which hopefully will be very soon. Uh, we intend to do one in the south. I would like to thank many persons from the staff at the ministry, um, the NYC, those on the ground working extremely hard, our youth workers and youth officers, uh, my programs manager, everyone, my communications unit, um, my, 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 my sports persons at the ministry as well. I would like to say a big thank you for making this work a success. I mean, there is so much. Luba says the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports will continue spreading the message of peace, love and unity with the aim of making St. Lucia a very peaceful place. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien reporting.